Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is your MCQ when the question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? Apparently, it looks like a very interesting, very easy question. Yes, it is easy, but the information is little unique. That's why I have selected this question. And from all these four options, you can understand that, okay, it's a hydrogenation reaction. It's an addition reaction. That's why I request, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Now, before going to the details, let's learn what's actually happening. I mean, if you look at the reaction, this is cyclohexene alkene. This is actually a deuterated hydrazine reaction with hydrogen peroxide. What is the product? So first learn what this reagent react among themselves means this hydrazine and hydrogen peroxide. By the way, hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizing agent. Why? Because the oxygen oxidation state is minus one. So it want to get reduced to minus two. During this process is oxidizes someone. So here if you look at this nitrogen, its oxidation state is minus two. So right now it is minus one. So you can understand, okay, this part is the oxidation and this part is the reduction. This is the thing. And whatever this deuterium are taken from here and here, that reacts with one oxygen from here and produce this D2 molecule. By the way, if you have any doubt regarding this redox concept understanding, remember this. You have this nitrogen molecule, N double bond N. After that, if you reduce it, it will produce this molecule. It is called student diimide. I shall come. Now, here also diimide is produced, but the deuterium version. And if you further reduce, it will produce the hydrazine. And if you still reduce it, it will produce the ammonia, actually two molecule ammonia. So from there, you can understand when this ammonia gas is prepared from nitrogen and hydrogen, so it's a significant amount of reduction. Now, I'm not going that much depth. So here you understand you have prepared this reagent, it's called diamide and the position, relative position of the two deuterium are cis. So you can understand the product, in product, the deuterium orientation will be same. So clearly understand, okay, it looks like that. Actually, that is the answer. Now look at here what happened. So this undergo a, you may consider it's a cyclic type reaction. So through a cyclic transition state, by the way, transition state is a hypothetical situation by which you can explain that during the reaction, which bonds are getting broken and which bonds are produced. Now, if you look at these nitrogen D bond broken, these actually pi bond, I'll not say broken, it's there. So it's, it's a wrong, so it is there. And the, even this double bond is getting broken the pi bond I'm talking. So that's why it should be dotted. Now here, what happened? So in this case, this bond abstract, this deuterium, it comes here, again, it goes there. And it says six member cyclic transition state. So both deuterium were in the same side. Reaction simultaneously. So their relative orientation will be same. So either you can say it's a top or you can say it's a bottom. By the way, I've written here top because in option they have given both are top. And what is the another molecule? Obviously N2 gas nitrogen nitrogen triple bond. So this is the overall reaction of diamide reduction. It's a very unique reaction for reduction of this carbon carbon double bond or pi bond. So what is the major product in this reaction? Obviously option is this one. Now if you get this question in your exam hall, how can you solve it less than 30 seconds? For that purpose, I'd suggest that student remember hydrazine. If you oxidize in terms of hydrogen peroxide, it will produce the diamide and diamide undergo addition reaction in one step, means cyclic transition step to the double bond. Now, and diamide is a cis reagent. This is a cis molecule. So that's why only cis product possible. It's a very interesting information. The problem is not tough, but the information is unique. You should remember. Then only you can solve. Otherwise, if you do not know anything, it is very difficult to predict. And if they twist the options, then it will be even more complicated. Okay. So in this case, I suggest without going for tricks, better to remember this information that is more helpful. So this is the overall discussion. I believe this video may be useful. And if you consider the content of my channel worthy, then please help this channel to grow. And regarding any doubt about the logo of my channel, please read this part. Your doubt will be clear. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.